Welcome back to Trucking in the Seven Seas. This is episode number five. Uh, for this episode, we're actually gonna cover two weeks of driving. Uh, we're doing two weeks this week because my computer is kind of crappy and I kept having processing failures when I was trying to uh, process the video. And it this went on for like three days. So by the time I realized uh, I was gonna be able to post episode five, it was already so close to episode six that uh, I just I just combined the two videos and also we spent the better part of a week getting our truck maintenanced so there wasn't that much that happened this week anyway so I decided to combine both uh, uh, this week and last week into one episode let's get into it <laughs> just outside of Dallas Fort Worth and uh, yeah stay there for the night and get back up in the morning <laughs> stopped in Hutchins, Texas at the terminal. I has a terminal in Hutchins, Texas, which is uh, just outside Dallas. Stopped there. We had a really rough road. Really rough road here. But I stopped there and uh, when I parked it, I had eight minutes on my 14 hour. I don't recommend that. That was too close. But got in there, stayed the night, got up the next morning. And now we're headed to Jenks, Oklahoma, and then Fort Smith, Alabama, and then back to Hutchins. I don't think I'll make it back to Hutchins tonight. It's too far. We'll stop somewhere along the way. The road's really rough. It's been raining. It just stopped. Get at it. <laughs> yesterday in Jenks, Oklahoma, grabbed the load in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and then stopped in Chocada, Oklahoma. Now we're on our way to Hutchins, Texas again. <laughs> Hutchins, Texas. Then we grabbed an empty at the shipper in Hutchins, Texas. We went to another facility and then we dropped that empty. We were just transferring an empty trailer to a Procter & Gamble. And then we bobtailed down to Longview, Texas, which is just slightly out of the way of where I was going, which was uh, Mount Vernon, Texas. So we bobtailed down to Longview, Texas, grabbed an empty from a Dollar General there, and then we headed up to pick up in Mount Vernon, Texas. And now we are on the road and we're headed to Hobbs, New Mexico. Let's go. <laughs> Mexico, 
Then we got another load assignment in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So we're dead heading to Albuquerque and we're doing another drop and hook at a terminal, actually at a Swift terminal. Uh, Knight and Swift are the same parent company, so sometimes they share terminals. So we're doing a drop and hook at a Swift terminal, picking up an already preloaded trailer, and then we're headed to uh, Salt Lake City, Utah area. Let's go. Stopped in Moriarty, New Mexico last night. We stayed here overnight and uh, we're still here. There's a very large storm uh, coming in from west to east that's hitting Albuquerque and basically from Albuquerque to Salt Lake. Uh, a lot of it's gonna be snow and I'm heading right, right in the midst of it. Uh, so that's a problem. And then coupled with that, it is just ripping wind right now and I'm completely empty. So with those things in mind, I've decided to take a uh, reset here at uh, the Moriarty uh, pilot. So I'm just gonna chill out here for a day, wait for the wind for the pa uh, to pass, wait for the storm to pass, wait for the snow to melt, and then we're gonna get back at it on Monday. I was running recap anyway, so kinda needed a reset. Still got the crack, it's not spreading. Uh, so we're just gonna keep rolling with it until, you know, there's a more convenient time to fix it, I guess. Uh, hopefully that works out. Let's uh, sit here for a day. Back on the road. We left uh, Moriarty, New Mexico, headed to Albuquerque, grabbed the drop and hook at the Swift Yard, and now we're headed to Salt Lake. Salt Lake is gonna get peppered with snow today, so I don't know how far we'll get or if we'll get there uh, today or even tomorrow. We'll see how the weather is and what the roads are like. So roads are clear right now. I'm just outside Salt Lake and, uh, or I mean, just outside Albuquerque, I mean. And uh, we'll see how the roads are. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I dropped that load in Grantsville, Utah, which is just outside Salt Lake. And then I went to the uh, night transportation drop yard, their facility here, their terminal, and I'm hooked up to another one and we're going to Sydney, Nebraska. <laughs> to Sydney. I stopped early uh, yesterday because it started snowing pretty bad. Uh, I, just, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to do it. And uh, uh, I didn't want to deliver this load anyway. It was a live unload and uh, who knows how long they were going to take and who knows, knows how long, at, at what hour I was going to get to the uh, truck stop. So I stopped in Cheyenne last night and uh, delivering it this morning. Then we're heading straight back to Cheyenne, grabbing a load and headed to Salt Lake. Hopefully the snow doesn't get in our way anymore. Let's go. All right, we finally got through Wyoming. So we stopped last night uh, at some damn place in Wyoming. I forget where it was. Middle of Wyoming. Uh, so we stopped there at a Flying J. And then we uh, 
drove out here to Salt Lake. We dropped the load at a Lowe's. We grabbed an empty. This was an actual Lowe's store, so it was like an actual like store where people store where people shop. Grabbed an empty there, and now we're headed up to a Procter and Gamble. We're gonna grab a load there. This is actually the same Procter and Gamble where we're, where I had two days of layover uh, last month. So we're grabbing from there, and then we're headed to Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, Night Transportation has a shop. It's also my home base. So we're gonna get the cracks fixed. And then we're gonna do a PM on the vehicle. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Let's go. All right, so we're in Las Vegas. Uh, we've been here actually a couple days. We're still getting the vehicle maintenance. Uh, it, you know, it, it, maintenance just takes a while uh, in this market, uh, which is why I'm waiting to go lease operator or, or owner operator. But we've been here a few days and uh, still working on the windshield, still working on the PM. But uh, yeah, that'll end this video. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll get into the spreadsheet right now. Okay, it's spreadsheet time. For this week, uh, again, pretty bad week. Only did 1,600 miles, only got three loads all around uh, the Salt Lake to like Cheyenne, Wyoming area. Hit a lot of snow, hit a lot of ice, had to stop a couple times, couple road closures, uh, a lot of things like this. So very bad week. And uh, it got even worse because uh, this is actually two weeks and we are in Las Vegas getting the truck maintenance. We are gonna get uh, maintenance pay for this. So that's good. However, the maintenance pay hasn't discharged yet. So I can't really count it and I'm not going to, but this is, this is technically two weeks, but kind of sort of not really it's not on the paycheck yet so we're not going to do it yet but either way bad week 1600 miles 774 dollars 48 cents per mile i didn't get any bonuses last month because i just didn't i just didn't run hardly at all last month so nothing discharged meaning i didn't get anything uh not really my fault because i was available to run i just wasn't getting very good loads and judging by this month uh probably not going to get it next month either so so overall, oops, that should be money. Overall, so we've been running about two months now, a little less, and just shy of 15,000 miles, got paid $7,656 at 51 cents per mile, and we're averaging 2,100 miles per week. It's actually even less than that because this is technically uh, two weeks. So that's pretty abysmal and uh, yeah, not much else to say. This is uh, not good, and things do need to pick up. Um, February is the slowest month, and we're dealing with a lot of issues with maintenance. Um, not uh, really anybody's fault, I don't think. Um, February is slow, and with the maintenance problems going on right now, I mean, I'm in maintenance right now, and it's taken a week to do some pretty basic PM and windshield stuff, nothing special, so, you know. You can point fingers, but uh, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't necessarily think it's anybody's fault. I think it's just, that's just what's happening right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you want about 3000 miles average per week and I'm only getting a little over two, which is pretty bad. Um, yeah, things should, should start picking up though. But yeah, overall this is um, pretty bad. Now with these low mileages, it's not like I haven't been out there trying to run. Uh, I've been pretty much available the entire time. I've only taken three days off in the last two weeks or in the last two months. So that's, I would say, not much time off at all. And uh, still, we're only getting about 2,000 miles average per week. Um, so if you take a step back and you look at what's going on, I mean, these loads aren't too bad 
Um, you know, 800, anywhere from, I mean, the lowest one was 400 and the highest one was 2000. So there's nothing, nothing awful with those loads. Uh, the problem is there's just been a lot of snow, a lot of bad weather and a little bit of layover and yeah, just a lot of, it's mostly weather that slowed me down. Some layover slowed me down. Obviously I had a real bad um, week here because I was requested time off in that area. But this is mostly weather and uh, what are you gonna do? Now to be clear here, this isn't, uh, that's not industry standard. This is a mega carrier, this is mega carrier pay. No matter where you go, you're gonna get about, you know, this much, maybe a little more. Um, the, re the reason why I'm still doing this right now, again, I'm gonna try the lease operating program. You have to wait three months at night transportation to try the lease operating program. So I'm waiting that three months. I should actually have access to it uh, middle of April if I wanted to, but I'm actually gonna wait probably another three months or something like that after that. So maybe sometime in summer, I'm just waiting for the market to get better, waiting for the, the diesel parts slash mechanic issues to improve, waiting for truck prices to come down. Um, so if you're wondering why you, uh, I'm still, accepting this for right now. I'm really not. I'm just trying to get into the lease operating program and uh, I'm just kicking the can down the road. But uh, yeah, this is, but that's pretty standard mega carrier pay. Somewhere between 50 and 55 cents per mile, I would say. You know, no matter where you go, Schneider, Knight, Swift, JB Hunt, it doesn't matter. You'll get about that much. Plus the discharge, which may be somewhere around three or four cents per mile on top of that. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Night transportation, week seven slash eight, sort of. Um, hopefully things improve. They need to start improving. That's not uh, enough miles per, per week at all. Um, and I think things will improve. Weather's already starting to get better, so that's good. But that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in driving for night transportation, I'll leave a link in the comments section and in the uh, about section of the video. And uh, just hit that link and uh, fill out the information and a driver recruiter will get a hold of you. Hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs>